Hello, this is Big G Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears. Let's keep on looking around here for, well, whatever we're looking for around here. But all right, so last time we got into the Nissan Mausoleum, got to some sort of control room. Uh, remember that control room for later viewers? Because I'm, we're going to have to come back there off screen eventually, and... I don't think there's anything on the way back. <laughs> so, I'll just show you where we're going to go. Do whatever we need to do for the story progression. And then, come back there off screen eventually. Now, let's see. On this floor, they got... Let's see. I think there's, what, five rooms you can actually get into? And they're just these huge, wide-open rooms. But, there's nothing in most of them. It just looks like, I don't know, like a gear hanger or something? But there's nothing in there. There's no computers for us to interact with. I, I think there's like some control panels, but you, you don't do it. You can't interact with them or anything. So, yeah. It seems kind of strange that they have this huge thing around here and there's nothing in there. For, well, most of them, anyway. Maybe that's just to... I don't know, leave room for expansion, like for future ancestors of the Fatima dynasty or something, so, you know, they don't have to dig out more space or something. But alright, back there we got a death blower accessory. Might want to equip that on Veltal there. Let's see, I'm just going to leave Zeepsen alone. The power magics will be more than good enough for our needs. But anyway, this is the only door that actually really matters. I mean, the Death Blower is nice, but this is where we need to go to advance the plot. Well, let's see what we got around here. Examine whatever that thing is in the middle there. Yeah, how many of these things do they got around here anyhow? Well, sounds like a plan. Good thing we brought you with us. Couldn't they just... Use oh. I was going to say, couldn't they just use both eyes of one person to unlock that thing? But, yeah, I forgot. Bart only has one eye. Or one good eye, anyway. Why they really need two people still, though, I don't know. I guess just to sort of serve as a, a check or something... Or, like, a system of checks and balances or something. They need both heirs or whatever to unlock stuff. So that way, if one of them gets corrupt with power or whatever, they can't just take whatever they want on their own. Hmm, this room is a little brighter than I remember. I remember, like, barely being able to see my way around here. Oh, really? Take a wild guess who's going to be operating it, viewers! If you say Margie, I'm going to hit you. Oh, I would think Solaris would have been the guys who, well, originally made all the gears, I would think. But, okay. Oh. Nuts. Hmm. So, how do we turn the thing on? Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just tell you. You need to walk up to here. And, well, then something happens. Yeah, this part tripped me up the first time I played the game. It's like, how are you supposed to know what to do here? I mean, I know the game said, hey, let's just take a look around. But it never occurred to me... To check the wall right there. Because, I, I mean, I didn't see anything there. So I thought there was nothing there. I mean, whatever. It's not a big deal. Just, just kind of tripped me up the first time. That's all. Ah, that's more like it.
What, you turn on the lights to the whole place here from there? Well, at least we don't have all the infrared going and all that. Anymore, we can actually see where we're going. So, how are we going to get this thing out of there? I mean, it can't fit through any of the doors. How did they even get this thing in there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hmm? What do you mean? Yeah, uh, what he's referring to is the control room that, well, where I started the episode. Yeah, well, sorry, Dip. Dip, kind of dead. Can we, uh, borrow your uber-powerful gear, if you don't mind? Thanks. But, yeah, we gotta find a way to get the thing out of here. So, okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get all the way back to that control room on the the second floor there. At least I think it was the second floor. Where? Kind of lost my bearing here for a moment. Okay, yeah, so I'll just meet you back there then off screen. Okay, we're back. And who's this guy? Where did you come from? How did you even get in here? Did you forget to lock the door on the way in, Bart? Oh, good, good. Well, they escaped. Oh, you already went back, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's dangerous to go alone. So, I guess you could buy stuff from him if you wanted. But he doesn't have anything new, so... Yeah, it seems kind of pointless. But I suppose they didn't want you to get stuck in here, because you... I would guess... I don't know, maybe the plot blocks you from leaving this place or something. I never checked that. But I don't want to walk all the way up those stairs all over again just to find out. So, we'll just move on. Oh, and we got kick-ass music again. This time with something remotely epic going on. So, yeah, I was going to say, what, what, what are we going to do something or what? What do we have a bridge down on a mausoleum for anyway? I mean, we're pretty far underground now, aren't we? Did you press the self-destruct button again, Faye? Maybe that's like, I don't know what that thing was that was just moving. Is that like the generator to the whole place or something? Well, I mean, it is a bridge, so... I guess the controls can't be that different. What, what's going on? Oh, that can't be good. Whoa! Hey! hey! Kind of looks like... Solaris, except with a whole lot more mass to the thing. Or not Solaris, um... What was it? The country we were just in. Shiva, that's it. <laughs> well, it's a flying saucer! I mean... But okay? I'm not really sure what moving this thing out of the ground does for us, but okay. Oh. What's that sound? What do you mean? What's, what's already moving? Whoa! Nuts.
Did that hit anything? Did you just nuke your entire kingdom? Or, well, the kingdom we're trying to get back for you? No? Oh, what do you mean? What's going on? What are you talking about? Some kind of cannon or something? Well, it fired, I guess. Not that that really does as much good. Why does that name Emeralda there? Or why is that there? I don't know. I guess... Yeah, they, they... I don't know what that's all about. Probably just a typo, I guess. Or... Uh, you fouled up a lot of times. You've shut down my ship twice now already. Oh, yeah. Isn't that, like, way far away from here, though? Like, the other side of the world, practically? Or at least the other hemisphere? Okay, sounds like a plan. So, whenever I say go to Fort Jasper, well, this is what I mean by that. Oh, well, good for you guys. And the dialogue is scrolling automatically here. Not today, I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, we, yeah, we kind of need to figure out a way to get that gear out of there. Hmm. So what are we going to do? Just, I don't know, fly the thing out of there or something? <laughs> yeah, let's just start hitting random buttons. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, there we go. Well, that worked out for us. All right, let's get back, get on back over there and pick up our new gear. What the? Who's there? Nuts. What is he doing here? Well, I suppose he couldn't just get into the place without the Jaspers. I thought all those Etones were killed off. I wonder if those, well, yeah, I wonder if those Etones are just like, I don't know, Wells piloting this stuff or whatever. I mean, they're the size of gears. What do you mean? Well, you could just knock, or use a really big cannon, or a sufficiently powerful explosive. Yeah, that would explain why no one knew where this thing was. Just way underground. Not really much excavation can do with that. Oh, you don't need Shikan to make a fool out of you, Bart. You do a good enough job of that on your own. Come get some! Sounds like a plan. Your proposal is acceptable. But alright, now we need to go all the way back to the hangar there. But this time, we got some enemies around here. There is a new enemy that you can meet up with on the way back, which is why I'm 
doing this off screen. I did not run into them there, but they are around. So you're going to run into them in the hallways on your way back to the, the gear there. Oh, I should probably heal up after that battle. Ran into some of those Shikan guards. They can attack you three times with one per enemy there, and that damage can add up after a while. Don't heal up Faye because I got the power crisis on him, and I want him to get as much power as he can out of that. I would try to keep Marina's EP as high as possible, though because she'll be useful in taking out large groups of those guys. Okay, here's a new enemy here. I think they're called Freelancers. And these guys got quite a bit of HP. I think with this HP on Faye, though, yeah, I can one-shot those guys. They got 420 HP, though, so you want to watch out for that. Hmm, let's take out that guy instead. Yeah, I'm gonna need my strongest 6 AP death blow to take these guys out. Yeah, a square X death blow, I might be able to get that to work, but let's not push it. Let's see, we only got one enemy to deal with, so we'll just get Seep's end going. Overkill! But it only costs 2 EP, so that's pretty nice. Well, I was going to edit out the backtrack. Yeah, it took me longer than I thought it would to find those new enemies around here. By the way, with phase HP, I try to keep him up above 200 HP. That should be good enough for him to get enough power out of the power crisis. Use those Aquasols on him. And that way, you can keep phase HP as low as possible, but not so low that he's at risk of dying. That's why I've been holding on to the Aquasols for this whole time, because if I used any of my ethers to do the healing, they'd probably restore you to max or near max HP. And that, what is that? Yeah, you would lose the attack power from the power crisis there. What do you mean? I'm surprised they haven't killed you off because of all that, whatever was going on with the ethos. Nice. What do you mean, retreat now? We're surrounded! Whatever shall we do? Can we escape? Oh, or, or she could just run right past them. Why don't you just, I don't know, shoot her? <laughs> now you're just talking crazy, Chikan. Couldn't we just, I don't know, lock the door? They wouldn't be able to get past. Oh. Well, I'll send you there too, Chikan, if you don't mind. I wouldn't want you to feel left out. Who's there? Hey, hey! I thought you guys went back to Bledovic. Hey, hey alright. It is inevitable. What do you mean you've still got her? She ran off! Max, why did you need two text boxes for that? I would think that would have all fit in the one. Max. Oh, 
Locked door! My greatest weakness. Now one of my weaknesses. So, how are we gonna get in? We only have one Jasper now. What do you mean? You got a bomb or something? Oh! Well, I, I... What are you talking about? That won't work. We need members of the Fatima Dynasty to open that thing. Oh! Hey, alright! I was expecting, like, the 56k modem noise to start playing there. <laughs> Do you remember what the 56k modem noise sounds like, viewers? If you, uh, if you do, congratulations. You're old! Like me! But yeah, why did that work? And like Sig said, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about that. But, okay, so let's see. Before moving on here, let's get the Ether Doubler going on Maria. Let's see. I'm not really worried about my setup here. Uh, would be a good idea to have Seal Armors equipped and uh, Power Magic going there. I don't need to worry about my HP because we're going to be getting in gears in just a moment. But I will make it back up just in case... There is a drop that I would like to get coming up here, but it's not guaranteed. It's not absolutely critical, but it's a 30% drop. So if I don't get it, I can just do it off screen. Oh, right. So what's with all that noise going on in there? What do you mean? <laughs> you have played this JRPG before, have you, Shikan? Oh, okay. What's the worst that could possibly happen to them? Whoa! Did it move? But all right, we'll just sneak past all these other gears around here, I suppose. Don't bother shooting us or anything. Or trying to stop us in any way. Whoa, oh, there you go. I forgot they actually did try to shoot us in this scene. Fortunately, they have about as good aim as Stormtroopers. That's... I thought you said the whole thing was sealed, though. Like, how'd you get in here? <laughs> well, she got the thing to do something. What are those things, anyway? I mean, I know they're like... Uh, what is it? With the E-tones and all that. I like the spike the Omni Gear has on its head. So, are we gonna do anything, or are we just gonna sit here staring at each other for a while? Game? Oh! Huh. 
Oh, that didn't work. Is this like a decoy or something? I mean, it looks impressive and all that. Ah, hey! You impudent fool! What do you mean? I don't know how to think! I'm a king! I can't make decisions! Oh, okay. Yeah, they were talking about that a little bit earlier there. No, I wasn't exactly there. There was just, like, one line of dialogue, I think, that talked about how there's an Omnigear in Shivat that responded to Ellie, and that was it. Oh, hey, all right. Sounds like a plan. But yeah, I mean, it is kind of weird. They mentioned that scene, like, I don't know, what, two or three times with about the Omnigear at Shivat, and it just so... Like, by the time it actually becomes relevant, it's like, I totally forgot about it. It's like, what happened? Yeah, kick ass with our new Omni Gear for boss time. Unfortunately, any equipment that you had on Brigandir automatically transfers to Invari, except that Invari, as you can see, has a Immensely more HP. But yeah, you don't have any, like, new special options or anything like that. The power output is a lot better, too. Basically, Envari has, like, a really good engine, frame, armor, all that sort of thing. But it's kind of massively overhyped. Uh, let's use Gravity Cannon to take out these two guys, or Graviton Cannon, whatever. But yeah, like, the only difference between Endvari and Brigandir is... I think Brigandir has an attack multiplier of 8, and Envari has an attack multiplier of 9. Okay, I didn't get the drop I wanted. I wanted to get a seal barrier out of that. I'll think if I want to go out of my way to farm it. It's a 30% drop. It would be nice to have, but it's not, like, really critical. But yeah, I mean, the Omni Gear! We were told, like, through the entire game, oh yeah, if you find one of these ancient, all-powerful gears, they're more powerful than a thousand gears or something like that. And it's... I mean, it comes with really good upgrades on it, but that's about it. It's not really that much better than what we had before. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not like like two or three times more powerful than what we had before. I mean, it's like, what, 12% more powerful? And yeah, that's it. No innate special abilities or anything. I mean, besides what we had before already, the Yggdrasil the cannon charge, whatever that thing was, which I'll almost never use. But it looks cool! Ah! Is she... Okay, yeah, she's okay now. Well, there we go. But alright, we got our first Omni Gear. Oh, well, I guess I kind of spoiled it. But... Spoiler alert! We're going to get more Omni Gears eventually! Aww. Yeah, I didn't know how to block. They, they didn't really teach me that in gear training camp, boot camp, whatever. Well, I guess they kind of did when we were back at K-1 
kiss lab there. But yeah, basically, Invari, uh, that's the name of the Omni Gear, by the way. Uh, Invari is just a straight upgrade to Brigandir there. And that's also why I never upgrade, or, well, not never, but that's why I haven't upgraded Brigandir lately, because you get Invari, and it has even better upgrades than I think we can buy at this point, too. Although eventually we will be able to buy even better upgrades for Envari there. Oh. Yeah, for some reason, the upgrades you get for Envari still use the Brig prefix. Or what was that? The engine or the frame or whichever one that had the prefix for Brigandir, and Navari still uses that, I guess just to avoid confusing you or something, I don't know. Well, that didn't work out too well for them, did it? Oh, well, yeah, I kind of knew about that. I didn't know that was their overall goal, though, but all right. Well, yeah, I want to kill the bad guys. Yeah, it kind of looks like, well, a lot of the other red gears that we've seen throughout the game so far. I will be using Envari quite a bit, actually. Mostly just for the upgrades that it has right now, because it's more powerful than I think just about anything we've got. Or at least it's on par with uh, Seep Zen there. I mean, you don't have the ethers, so that kind of holds it back from being as powerful as Veerge or Renmazio, but you do get Wild Smile out of it. And there are gonna be some times when you're not gonna have access to one party member or another, and sometimes Envari will be the best thing we got. But yeah, I, I use it plenty, still. It's not just going to be collecting dust or anything. It's not useless or anything, like an Ultima Tome or, or anything like that. <laughs> now, that's another game, viewers. Oh, other gears? Why would they be coming in this direction? Huh. Well, that's weird. Did... Ah. Oh. Are they just coming back to... Yeah, kick our ass or something? I mean, we got the Omni gear fully operational and everything. What info? What gate? I don't know anything about a gate. Oh. Okay. Uh, do we care? Well, I think if we went over there earlier in the game, you would have seen a cave there. But I don't think you could actually do anything there at the time. Oh, really? Is that particularly relevant to us? I mean, I guess he can't be up to any good or anything, but... Okay. Oh, yeah, just uh, keep the bench warm there, Sig. Um, yeah, I suppose they might try to double back or whatever the word is for that sort of thing, but... Alright, well, yeah, we're back in Nissan here. And I think all the people are back, too. 
release some of the people? Dude? Where am I in the town, anyway? I'm... Oh, there we are. Yeah, there's all the people around here. I was looking for the building with the shops because that's where... Uh, the save point is around here. What's Shikan doing coming all the way back here now? Find out next time on Let's Play Xenogears. This is a Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!